about that. See? All right. It yep. is, and especially in the tarot pack. <laughs> yes, and we're putting it right here. I'm going to cut the cards for you, Leo. One, two, and let's see. Magic. Okay, and we're putting some white light on these cards because we would like for spirit to infuse your reading with love. Love and also with the best spiritual counsel, Let's which go. is always what we got here at Virtual Tarot. Let's see. I want to see first. Okay. Oh. okay, in the first position, what do we have for you? And this is the position of environment. Go, Leo, go. We have the <laughs> Ten of Cups. And once again, if you're learning to read with us, Ava, yes. tell us all about the suit of cups. Cups is um, cups is about feeling. If 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 you really want to use a single word to describe what the cups are about, it's about the feeling. We we are mental creatures. We are feeling creatures. We are emotional creatures. We're sensual creatures. This is about feeling. And. Really, when you come to the Ten of Cups, this is really a celebration. It's almost like an ecstasy of feeling. You are enveloped in feelings of love, compassion, joy, um, tenderness, kindness, sweetness. All of that, as expressed in your particular life, through your particular family, whether that is your real blood family or whether it's your work family or maybe just your social family. Mm -hmm. And as the Ten, this is the pinnacle of cups. It is. It is. So you're at the end of the your heart's desire. You've reached your heart's desire. Yeah at the end of this month. And sometimes this card actually reminds me a little bit of a Kodak moment. You know, we used to say where you get these little glimpses of the perfect family, um, you know, and that's kind of how life is. I mean, it, life is those moments. Mm -hmm. And that's what opens this month. Right. Perfection of the heart. Right. So something touches you on a deep feeling level. And you are made to appreciate your environment. Mm -hmm. It's like the arrival of the heart. Yeah, you see you the know, rainbow. Your heart reaches its destination right. of sort of nirvana. Yeah, it's like El Dorado. You can't stay there forever, but you're going to get, you're going to open the month you, with the, that. The, the month, of, but the entire month is colored by it. It is. So it, this is the the feel of uh -huh. the whole month. Yeah. So it's a tone. It's a tone. Yeah. It can also mean that you're just going on vacation when it's it August and that, that it's an you're going to have a great time. But it's it's also perhaps something something you have accomplished. You have come to the end of something. You've accomplished it and it is giving you these feelings of mm -hmm. of tremendous joy and satisfaction. That's great. Yes. Couldn't be any better. Okay, so let's move into the next position, which is the position of challenge for the month of August. What do we have? You're going to have to ask for help or give help. We have the Nine of Pentacles. I'm sorry. Six. It's the Six. Is it the Six? It's the oh, six. I read it backwards. It's the Six. <laughs> so. Dyslexia. Yes. <laughs> So it is the six, and you are going to have a bit of a challenge, although this is always a great card, because if you look at the card, you'll see that there's there's charity freely given, which is true charity. Um, this is not a loan. <laughs> this is someone helping you. And it looks as if this, this month, opening with reaching your destination of... Um, fulfillment, joy, uh, just, you know, a place where the family can come together and, and be one, be whole. Um, the challenge is to accept or give um, 
some type of uh, practical help. Could even mean like help in moving. Mm-hmm. If this is about relocating mm-hmm. this Ten of Cups. Um, help in moving, help in any aspect of help. Yeah, but it's a practical card. So this is a pentacle, and pentacles are, again, all about that which you can taste, touch, see, and feel. So um, joy and practical help. And, and really the mood of the card is about charity, being charitable. Uh, truly charitable uh, to those who are in need, mm-hmm. and uh, it's it's um, you know we we are often given opportunities to express our humanitarianism. Yeah, every day when we drive down uh, the road and we see someone who's holding up a sign that says homeless. <laughs> We're given an opportunity. We're given an opportunity to help those less fortunate than ourselves. And I think that uh, if that is your challenge, then, then you're, you're in a position heart-wise and, and your environment is so rich with um, that, all, all the blessings. You've mm-hmm. been blessed. Yes. And so it's a... This is about sharing your blessings. It is. There you go. Freely given. And let's go to the next position, Leo. What a nice reading. (laughs) Oh boy, we've had this card pop up before in the position of the unexpected. We have the Empress. She's in the upright. Now let me say, the Empress popped up for the month of June, I believe, in this position in the inverse. And we had said, somebody's not feeling it this month. When he says, let's get it on, honey, she says, I've got a headache. (laughs) And that's in the reverse. So take that to the upright, and what do you have? Mm -hmm. You've got a month full of passion, um, just this beauty. You're feeling sexual, vibrant, sensual. I know she's going to say sensual, not sexual. (laughs) And also, this is just someone putting you on a pedestal. And letting you know that they see you as a goddess. It's beautiful. So Watch out, ladies, if you're trying to get pregnant. Because you just might uh, end up being pregnant. Because it's uh, unexpected. And she is uh, leaning on a pregnancy pillow. It often indicates pregnancy. And if she's not pregnant with a living being, she's pregnant with many ideas many conceptions that uh, are just stating, are just stating unexpectedly. You, you are so full of um, put your potentiality. Mm-hmm. This is the, the, like Mother Nature, She's many and varied mm-hmm. in well, a her lot of times, creative expression. They'll say that you can funnel your sexual energy into creative areas, mm-hmm. you know, or mm-hmm. even, you know, athletes will funnel that energy into the game. Yes. So this sort of either right hand tantra or left hand tantra, right? Yeah. Um, which tantra is about? Uh, uh, bringing the kundalini energy up, the bringing that sexual energy up and expressing it through the various chakras. And that's generally what uh, Mother Nature does. Is this? It's the flow of energy and the multiple expressions mm-hmm. of that energy. So this is a really good reading. Okay. <laughs> and then at the end. And then at the end. And I love it when this happens because what do we have at the end? We have the King of Cups. However, he is in the upright. And as you remember, in the month of July, we had him in the position of the unexpected in the reverse. So it looks like the King has come around. Oh, yes. He's righted himself. He's on the wagon now. <laughs> yeah, well, this, yeah, King of Cups reverse can represent an alcoholic. A drunk, drunk is. Um, but he is in the upright, he's in control, he's, in control. he's the loving, emotionally available, best king in the deck, yes, yes. or a female that is. Maybe he's the papa of that baby he that you didn't expect be. to have. Yes, but this is somebody who's emotionally available to 
the Empress. And there's a lot of love surrounding your environment this oh, month. Oh, this is an absolutely beautiful month for you, Leo. Absolutely beautiful. This is uh, a, a, a king that says that um, you are now in complete control of your, your emotional being. And consequently, you are able to to care for those around you, mm -hmm. to care and to yes. nurture. Those and the challenge, you. I think, is to not hold back. To not Whether hold it's back. giving or receiving, you know, the challenge is to not hold back, to let it right. go. You know, move to, freely. To make it reciprocal. To let right. this uh, whatever the practical help or money, you know, which is currency, yes. move freely. Uh huh. Because this month is a beautiful month. Oh, you might you might take uh, time to um, enjoy Mother Nature. By the way, yes, that's right. That really seems because nature is so much a part of this reading mm -hmm. that uh, you might be able to uh, go and truly take a holiday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out in the uh, out in out in like nature. Hiking, hiking or like. Anything uh -huh. that has to do with ecotourism yeah. or, uh -huh. you know, uh -huh. yes. mommy and baby animals. No, it's family. It seems yeah. like a, a beautiful yeah. family um, month yes. for you. So what a very nice reading, and that concludes the four-card spread. Right. Well, shall we reveal the fifth card? Shall we? There is a fifth card, and... I would say go ahead and subscribe because we have a higher spiritual counsel. This reading does not end with a four card spread, so go and check that out. We'd also like to encourage all of our viewers to check out our new website. We're working to build a platform that is all inclusive and that will allow you to upload your profile as a reader. So go check that out. Yes. Um, it's at least it's informationally ready for you so that you can um, become familiar with what our intention is in this psychic network, how we want to, to embrace you and your uh, spiritual art and include it into our family of um, spiritual tools and make it available to the public. Yes. At this point, it is invitation only, but um, in the next month or two, um, it will be all inclusive, where anyone can upload a profile. Mm -hmm. um, and I believe we are about to uh, jump in uh, and enjoy the tarot cave. Yes. And so we thank you very much for thank showing you. up for the month of August. We'll see you in September.